Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of Zareth Prevails, a Grand Arena Story. Guys, we are in the semifinals right now. I know that we skipped a video uh, because my opponent did auto-deploy. I'll show you guys that in a minute. Um, I, I don't know. It's good. I, we're doing well so far. I am undefeated, and... Um, I, at this point, I think that Kyber is a foregone conclusion that I know is probably uh, the lead up to a classic blunder, something like that. But, um, anyways, guys, this, yeah, we're let's let's actually just jump in, guys. We don't I don't need to don't need to bore you with blather right now, unless you like blather. I'm still not gonna do it though. However, I did want to say thanks to my patrons once again, guys. I really, really appreciate the support. Just means the world to me. Seriously, I, I just really, really appreciate all of you. So thank you. And now let's get to that match. All right, guys. Here we are. Here is. The fight, dear lord. Uh, the top zone, he had four Galactic Legends. And, uh, yeah, this guy's from ANZGC. ANZGC, I, I can't say the name, but, uh, just really frustrating, man. He didn't even respond to me when I messaged him. Uh, like, I don't know. Was he doing it just to spite uh, someone from the internet, from, you know, a streamer, or... Or was did he just forget? I I don't know. Just a very frustrating set state of affairs. So, uh, anyways, we're now we're jumping in straight in apparently to my next match. We're in the semifinals fighting someone named Starbuck. So that's like Katie Sackoff, right? Uh, we're fighting Wokaton. <laughs> uh, Starbuck is a character from the Battlestar Galactica series, just to be clear. Um, so my opponent had already attacked. I'm going to show you my defenses at the end of this video. But they already attacked, they were struggling a little bit, and uh, you can see on the front zone, they had a ray team. I, I realized belatedly that my Hoda was on defense, so I couldn't do the mirror here. Uh, then there's Geos and First Order. They're kind of tricky teams, because I, I was afraid to use Treya on the on those Geos. And uh, KRU, it's like it can, a lot of teams can go south facing that. So uh, I also had on the top, we have a, a pretty standard General Grievous squad. The I mean, you can see it. The, the full bastard Darth Revan squad is up top like that. That is... I don't want to spend too long looking at his defenses, but I will just say this, folks. If you have a Darth Revan and you're going to put him on defense, put him in that bottom zone because people are going to have to use a Galactic Legend or a really sketchy counter. There's still not something easy to beat that team. Like it, 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 Except if you use a, a Galactic Legend, then it's fairly easy. But otherwise, it's... It's a PETA man, and at the top there, and putting it in the top there gives me perfect information. So, uh, that being said, let's let's keep going. Um, I decided to use Sith Eternal with Watt here. So you want to put the tank tech on him, because he needs that regeneration. And you want to link IG-11 and Rey, because they're going to... IG-11 because he's taunting Rey, because she is a little faster, and... Uh, you kind of want to have Link on Rey after you eventually, eventually you're going to get the, the ultimate on Sith Eternal. And once you do that, you still want to be able to Link Rey. And so to be able to do that, Rey, uh, Sith Eternal is going to need to, uh, going to need to keep Kuil alive. So, uh, we're... We're just gonna keep going. Uh, looks looks kind of dicey at first, as you can see. She's already in her ult. Watt is gone. We've done no damage, but we just gotta be patient. And this is the sketchy part, of course. Uh, she does her ultimate. She does a bunch of damage. Gets us almost to the yellow in health, in fact. And uh, yeah, uh, it, it's okay though. We eat it uh, with the tank tech. We're regenerating so much health and protection. It's crazy. So uh, finally, get our ultimate. And now, even if Ray is in her ultimate, we can just fry whoever is next to her. So we got rid of IG-11. It's just like a Nihilus hit. Like, no, doesn't matter how many hit points, doesn't matter anything like that. Like, you 
you just kill him. Um, and of course, we didn't really kill Ray there, but now, now we're just gonna wait for a bit. She has whirlwind, or yeah, whirlwind, and yeah, nothing too crazy. We're just trying to. I think that the the goal here is to reenact the movie the, as best we can. Though I guess we're on Dathomir, so that that doesn't quite work. Um, <laughs> she got her ultimate again. It's always nerve wracking, man. Look at how much she takes down. This is a health build, Ray. So she's not gonna have a ton of offense in the. Uh, it, like I, I think that in 3v3 offense is probably the better, or at least the more scary way to mod her just because she can hit so hard, but as it was, she has a ton of health, it availed her not, we got 51, and off to a good start, though we did use Watt, so it's in a way, we're not really using two teams exactly, but in a way we are. Alright, so... Geos, they're too high relic to use Treya on. I don't like to use Treya anyways. Uh, Darth Vader didn't have a good target up top anyways, and I didn't know what was going to be in the back. So I decided to just kill some Geos with him. Uh, we want his lead, just because I want the damage over times to stick around. That, that's a really important component of this, because it, you see we killed Spy, but if we didn't get that ability block on the on brood alpha then they he could potentially just cleanse all of it and we'd be in a world of hurt because they could they'd start going they we wouldn't be able to get consistent debuffs on them they'd start de they'd start dispelling all of theirs with vader lead though we at least have the ability to just uh you know we have the initial dots and any other dots we put on them i did take piet just to give me myself a little extra potency and damage and Honestly, everything is pretty well in hand at this point. Uh, I did put the mark on on Palpatine just because I, I could spare him more. And if we called him to assist he, on Brute, which never really came to fruition, but if we had called him to assist, then we could uh, potentially get shock on him so Brute could not taunt. Uh, as it was, 52, I'm, I'm fine with that. We're just trying to get through this. So I uh, had some fun here with Kieti Mundi and Ahsoka. I've been really enjoying this team. Need to kill Sith Trooper first. Absolutely essential. We have a bunch of bonus protection, but they'll chew through it pretty quick with all their AoEs. And KRU can stun us even with our huge amount of tenacity. So uh, you can see uh, Kieti Mundi is stunned for two turns. And so I, I did save the Basti. Uh, buff and cleanse for that exact reason you need to save that in anticipation of that two turn stun so got rid of red trooper whoo wonderful uh use basic on kylo to get rid of the retribution of course he just gets it back so we can just stun him put him in timeout kieti mundi jumps in puts uh whatever that debuff is on him armor shred and we're going we're going um and at this point, I've, I'm feeling pretty good. I decided that I wanted to try something new with Kieti Mundi, or at least relatively new to me. Uh, so, I mean, all these moves are pretty self-explanatory. You can see <laughs> all my guys are in timeout right now. They're all stunned. It's kind of scary. Um, but, and, and we're actually running out of, we're running out of protection. But Kieti Mundi did manage to just take out OG Kylo. He does a huge amount of damage, guys. So uh, here's, here's what I was talking about a minute ago. Decided to put in his new stance. Uh, we got days on Kyle, Kylo. And you can see I'm taunting. I hate that. I hate that I have to taunt. Uh, I have an Omega that I applied. Totally regret that. Uh, if I hadn't done that, then... Uh, he wouldn't be taunting right now. That would be great. So, decided that that stance sucked and wanted to go back. So I did. And Kiedi Mundi, man, he's doing all the lifting. You saw how little damage Ahsoka did. Even though she's Relic 5, Kiedi Mundi is carrying us. Uh, and then, then Basti jumps in and just snipes the kill. Dear Lord. <laughs> what, a, what a B. 53 banners. And now... Uh, we gotta see if he's trying to trap us or something, and in reality, he wasn't. He, he had some decent teams back there, like, none of the teams were super, super easy to beat, but at the same time, none, none of them are, like, A-level teams. So, uh, go up top, decided to try to kill 
this Grievous team with the Mothra team and with K2 and Cassian. You want to kill B1 first, even though B2 is getting a ton of turns. You want to kill B1 because he's the one who's going... If you try to kill B2, you'll inevitably just have to go for B1 anyways because B1 just heals him so fast and easy. Like, you you just... You have to kill B1. That, that's all, all there is to it. So, um, it, luckily with Mothra, like, you, you get three or four attacks every time you attack so yeah that's it, it's not a big deal not nothing too crazy so uh, I took a heal there with Mothra right before I killed B1 just in case Grievous was able to do a huge AoE and just somehow kill one Mothma I I didn't really think that was going to happen but you just it's best to be sure and now now that we've got B2 down because no one can heal him. Uh, now we can just start mowing down Grievous. You guys have seen me do this a few times. Uh, it takes a little bit of time. Feels a little nerve-wracking, but you, you can do it. I have faith in you. <laughs> so, uh, anyways, we're we're just just pounding down on him. He, he's doing basics and he's just hitting K2, which is great. Uh, get to promote the soldier into a some super soldier guy, uh, the two dot soldier, and. Uh, that's cool because we all have uh, armor shred or armor armor pierce, which is great. Decided to use the heal here with Mothma, and because Grievous only had a basic available, and we got 53. I kind of thought we were robbed. It felt like we were robbed at first. I thought it was a 54, but gosh, that sounds whiny, doesn't it? I'm gonna stop. Okay. <laughs> all right. So I still have one more Galactic Legend. I have Ray available. Well, I actually have two. I have Supreme Leader Kylo as well. Uh, I didn't really have any. <laughs> Thing. Like you know, you know my my strategy against offenses that are you know we're trying to be efficient. Like that's that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to ignore Galactic Legends when people want to keep their own Galactic Legends for offense. We have to match that with our own and be super efficient. So uh, once again, I mean every Galactic Legend besides Jedi Master Luke can solo a Darth Revan squad for 55, and that's exactly what I'm doing here. So. Trying to kill them. I'm going to drink some tea while you watch the demolition. And decided to go into my ult just as an FU to Basti. Got 55. And we're cruising, folks. We're cruising so well that I decided... Oh, uh, I wanted to do this first, I guess. Um, <laughs> I have another attack that... Uh, I did as a result from cruising. So we do the buff from Queel here, and uh, this this will kind of made me feel sketchy. These guys are all relic four on Droidica and relic like six on Newt and Django, something like that. You guys can look at the thumbnail a little bit later. Uh, but man, this team is super fun. I'm still not very good with it. I know that I keep saying I'm awkward with it, and that hasn't really changed. I'm still pretty awkward. Okay, so I meant to stun Django here, and I kind of got like kind of confused a little bit. I I don't know, it's kind of weird. But I uh, decided I was like, you know what? Let's try to kill Newt. Like, the, those whistling birds will not allow a revive, so that that'll kill Django or Newt without them reviving the way they normally do. Uh, decided to go for Newt. Didn't quite work because I only had five whistling birds, but. Now I, I, you know, we're just we're just going to town here, trying to. Um, so you can see that I'm saving Newt here because I wanted Newt to be able to. I uh, wanted Newt to be able to just. I, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> wanted him to die from from the whistling birds. Now I did the AOE from IG. Obviously, uh, killed Newt, so my planning was off. As I said, I'm pretty awkward with this squad. We're just trying, trying new things though. So we killed Newt. Uh, I'm like, should we try to kill Django, or should I just try to whistling birds him? And I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm clearly making poor choices. You could see that Quill almost died at, at one point from Django stuff, and I was ma I managed to get damage immunity actually on him and on Mando because he took the bonus turn, etc. Um, so yeah, we're we're doing okay. All right, so now we can we can target Django. He's got he's got the healing or the not healing immunity. He's got the the buff that oh, what's it called? <laughs> Bounty Hunter's Resolve. That's what it is. 
Uh, so we've got that, and obviously we just killed him anyways in one shot because it denied revives. And now the question is, can we be immune to damage enough? Can we take one more hit from a relic for Droidica, who has seven stacks here, eight stacks? And the fact is, um, <laughs> IG-11, man. IG-11 just tanked it. He still has most of his protection. He is so tough to kill. He, man, he's, he's a legitimately, I don't know. I, I was going to say legitimately the tankiest, like, tough to kill tank in the game. I'm not, I have no idea if that's true, though. So, uh, there's, there's one whistling bird for you guys. <laughs> As you can see, I, I keep saying it, but I'm pretty awkward with this team. Still, we got 53, figured it out, and... Uh, I mean, the, my my best guard team is pretty well geared, like uh, Relic 5 on both Quill and IG, etc. Alright, so here's the one that I wanted to try out. They're not Basti, uh, she doesn't have high potency, and so I was like, oh yeah, we're, we'll be good to go. Um, and as it turns out, we weren't. I forgot to account for Hermit Yoda's uh, J Master's Training, which is totally a noob mistake. Uh, just, just my own mistake here. Uh, I was ramping up damage, I would have killed them in time, but they debuffed me to hell and eventually killed me. So, that's my own bad. I need to, need to stop doing that. So, now I uh, decided to leave that one alone for a little bit and go face this Mothra team of their own. I think these are both Relic 5 Chase. So, I, I put the, I put the, the debuff, uh, what's it called? isolation on Baze, and that's just because I wanted to I wanted to keep him from taunting. He, he gains a bunch of turn meter if I'm hitting Chirrut and stuff, and Lord knows I was going to be hitting Chirrut, so uh, just just hitting Baze. Let, uh, let him just do his own thing, and you know, he's got a huge protection pool anyways as opposed to health. Like, the, the best way to mod him is generally with protection, and so Doing all the percent damage from Moth, or from the assists from Mothra, like it's not going to be as impactful as on Shuret, who typically has a lot of health because of all of his health steal and stuff, or health up, heal over time. I think is what it's technically called. Now, that was a mistake of mine. I should have with Nihilus used his basic on someone who had a buff, which Baze obviously can't have one, just so that I could get the annihilate a little earlier so i did i gave that i gave the uh reduced cooldown to scion because i wanted to steal to see if i could steal a banner before i finished so you can see he used his held by hatred thing i thought maybe that would kill bays in time it didn't but uh treya for the assist here got the kill we're at 52 and good to go so, cruising through these teams, I still have Supreme Leader Kylo, and there's only a couple teams left, so let's revisit this Basti team with Barris and Hoda. They don't have much damage. Uh, the Ray team does pretty well against this, so you can get the you can get tenacity down from BB-8's basic. So you can stun them, you can you can do all this stuff. Of course, Barris on the team is going to make it impossible for those debuffs to stick, but the most important part of this is Barris does a great job of helping people regenerate their health, and we're uh, it, we're uh, disallowing that. I guess she can still health equalize, but if we can just land the healing immunity, that's that's all she wrote. I mean. We already took her down, it's only been 45 seconds, and now we have to kill. I mean, this is a high relic Barris, or at least a decently relic Barris. I don't remember. Look at that, she resisted everything. Uh, that means we get more turn meter, though, and uh, R2-D2 actually, on a resistance team, hands out a huge amount of potency, if I'm remembering correctly. Now, th there's something interesting there, folks. Uh, you saw that Jedi Training Ray used her special on Barris and, you know, called BB-8 to attack. And, but Barris had Foresight, so we missed, and therefore the healing immunity did not stick. Now, we still have plenty of time. May as well just keep beating her down. I mean, why not? But, uh, I mean, it, it is just interesting. So... One of the things that I was trying to do, guys, is 
uh, I, I was trying to make it so that Barris would hit BB-8, and BB-8 would therefore heal all the droids. And uh, I, I don't know. I was kind of distracted. It's our Gambit fight night. I was talking to the to the chat. I was talking to my co-host. All, all of that stuff. Uh, and so. I don't know, I, I don't think I did this in the most optimized way, but I was targeting Hoda for a while just so I didn't do extra damage to uh, Barris, because I didn't want to kill her yet. Uh, we'd already chewed through her bonus protection and everything. Um, and so yeah, we're, we're just trying to kill time here, trying to get one more illuminated illuminated destiny from BB-8. And you'll note in the corner right after we kill Barris that... Uh, illuminated Destiny. Gosh, I can't talk, but it appears for just like one second. So watch, I, there's no recourse. I just, I have to try to kill Barris. I decided to just do a basic, actually, so that maybe I'd have like that 2% to miss. Didn't miss. Illuminated Destiny. Oh, it wasn't actually ready yet, so never mind. Never mind. False alarm. So if it's 33, finally finished that squad off, and, um,. One thing I should point out, guys, is I knew that the match was already in hand when I did that, when I ha went in and uh, used Nest. If I hadn't known that, then it, it would be different. Like, I, I would have totally... <laughs> I would have totally either planned it out better or just lost on... Uh, not lost. I, I would have planned it out better or just used a different team. So, uh... You know, that, that's the value of someone going first. It's, I appreciate that my opponent did that. Now, this is a little bit tricky. Uh, I took out took out the Shock T with these clones, and I thought maybe this would be pretty easy. Uh, you know, we could just, we, we'd kill, like I killed Shock T really fast, actually. And then Fives decided to be his annoying self. Like, he is so tough to kill, man. He is a true tank, like... <laughs> Especially at Relic 7, he's just really tough bastard to kill. Uh, but we still managed it, got 61, 51, and uh, not being super efficient, but at the same time, we don't need to be super efficient. Like, my opponent has already stalled out. I'll show you guys the defenses again, like I said, in a little bit. Uh, for now, we need to take out this Beskar team. Vander is Relic 6, which is nuts. And uh, I don't remember what Kara is. She's also relic so we got to be careful. If we can kill the Mando kind of quick, then we'll be good. So I did manage to kill him before he could take any bonus turns or anything like that. And now it's smooth sailing. Like, Kara, we just we used an AoE on her, so she can't do her AoE on us yet. So if we can kill these guys pretty quick, then... We should just be able to get another 53, embrace the 53 today, apparently, and we're good to go. 53, 53, 53, and um, clear the bottom zone. We have one squad left. It's the Kira Nest with L3, all super high relics. Like, Kira has really high relics, in fact. Uh, normally, having relics at all for Kira is high, so <laughs> I think she had relic 5. The other two were relic 7, so... Uh, Gotta hit L3 because she's pre-taunting. We're, I mean, we're using Supreme Leader Kylo. It's, it's not particularly difficult. I'm not gonna lie to you guys and just tell you guys I'm like this genius of the game <laughs> for this battle. Uh, maybe for other ones. No, <laughs> but uh, just got the poke here. This is a Relic Eight Supreme Leader Kylo. So he's uh, he would have been fine at Relic like two. I'm sure. I'm sure he'd been fine with any relics. But uh, as it stood. Got rid of her, and at this point I've won, because my opponent couldn't clear my either of my bottom zones. But we got to do ships, decide on taking out these rebels with a pretty fast Biston, actually. Decide to go with my Tarkin fleet, and um, yeah, we, we have TIE Fighter. I'd use this special with TIE, because I knew that Falcon was going to go and do the AoE, which would then in turn feed, because it would miss with that AoE against my TIE Fighter. And, oh, let me pause it real quick. So, against my TIE Fighter, he would um, <laughs> he would miss and feed turn meter to my capital ship. Now, you can see, I, I would love to kill Biston here, but this is, a, this is so key, guys, and that, that's why I paused it. We need target lock to be up. Target lock is what makes the TIE Bomber taunt, and so it's a great tank, but if a tank can't actually taunt or like take hits for some, some valid reason like 
<laughs> it it just becomes this very difficult uh, thing. Like, why, why are we even taking you? So I did not shoot Biston because I knew that Vader would probably just kill Biston there. Uh, and so I targeted Biggs. We have target lockup. And now they are, they're going to have to shoot through our super thick seven star type bomber who managed to just use bombs and kill Biston anyway. So got a, got a good deal there. Uh, decided not to finish off Biggs because I didn't want that target lock to go away. And um, I was like, okay, so who, who do I bring here? Oh good, I can, st I can heal some banners. But then once again, here, let me pause. Look at home one's turn meter. It's, it's gonna go next. And so I could heal or maybe, uh, well, it, and, and it, it would send in reinforcements too, by the way. So it, w it was like I could heal for more banners or I could just finish it. Uh, who knows what's what's behind that door? We may we should just finish it. I'm gonna get good banners anyways. Got 64, and well on my way to crushing this fleet zone. We have this pretty weird Holdo squad. It's got uh, the Rebel Y wing. It's I don't know. It's, it's a pretty interesting choice. Uh, first, I was I was questioning if we could use Sunfac. It's a guaranteed stun if you hit. So I was like, well. I wasn't sure about the if you hit part. I was wondering if maybe you would miss for damage, but you'd still apply the effect. And after, after we looked at it, uh, decided to just stun the Ray's Millennium Falcon. Now, this was kind of unfortunate. Radis went right before the Falcon and uh, cleansed my irresistible stun. So how dare you? That was not really okay. Um, <laughs> I used the AoE here to get rid of all of those, uh, those exposes. The, the expo not exposes the f foresight uh, whatever it's called so uh, wanted wanted to get rid of that because uh, of course it's going to it's going to hinder us getting uh, our buzz droids applied and you can see here I'm, I'm actually not having a lot of success in getting buzz droids applied uh, I'm man it, it, it's very tricky to try to calculate, like, I, I can't really do a great job of figuring out exactly how close Radis is to having her ultimate, but we, we gotta be, we gotta be careful here, so, um, you know, we gotta kill these guys as quick as we can, because the second we lose that ultimate, uh, race, then we're, we could be in a huge trouble, I mean, then we probably clean up okay with some other team, but, I don't know, just not a risk I wanted to take, so, uh, the clone sergeant came in, and I actually really like that. With Radis, gets you one more tank. I don't know. Like it, I feel like that's maybe a more natural counter. Uh, anyways, we so trying to focus down Ray's Falcon, and look at how close we were. Um, look at how close we were. Didn't quite get her. Uh, <laughs> now, all right, she's got foresight. Let's try to kill clone sergeant. Got him down. Uh, now Ray and Poe both have foresight up again. Decided to shoot Ray, missed to stun her. Uh, I was like, oh, maybe I can single tap her with spy negative. Look at how close she is to dying. <laughs> so many times, man. Uh, RNG gods are uh, are very favorable toward Ray um, in this match. So uh, got Buzz Droids here, missed against Poe, which is also somewhat upsetting um but i guess i guess we'll just we'll get through it so i uh, decided to bring soldier in we probably wasn't going to get great banners here tonight or uh, you know at this point because i'd been taking such a beating but uh as, as it stood like we're actually we're actually not doing as bad as i had originally thought uh, ebon hawk is annoying 60 is fine line of shame we're like straddling the line of shame that's fine 60 is great um, and uh, let's see so that's that's it folks that's the uh, that's the team that's the that's the fight that we had um, let's let's go I'll show you guys my defenses and I'll get you out of here shall we let's, let's do that so as long as I can find this here. all right Oh, look at this. We have feats to claim. What? Oh, random. All right. I apparently didn't do it. So, uh, as I said, I, I mean, I won. 
my opponent wasn't able to clear in any of my stuff, so I don't know. Uh, it's open to speculation. I, I don't know. I'm assuming they tried a smaller counter to Darth Revan. That was the first kill. Like, they couldn't quite kill Basti, so um, I'm guessing they had to use a Galactic Legend there. Um, probably only had two Galactic Legends available for offense, so I don't know what they did with Commander Luke. The, they did fail once there, though, obviously, and then... Uh, Jedi Luke. I think Jedi Luke is the one they used their other Galactic Legend on. Um, anyway, so then they went... You know what? The first thing they did after that, they went to the bottom here and uh, killed these two teams, poured these two teams, but uh, then, <laughs> then we have Jedi Master Luke in the back, who I was kind of trapping with. Uh, you guys can... You guys can speculate as to why, I suppose. Um, <laughs> it works works pretty well. Um, I explained it in my stream, but we're not going to spend a huge amount of time right now on that. So we, we also have Padme back here. They got, She got to defend up top. They did fail against Newt one time. This is kind of a gross composition. They one-shotted everything. They did get a 48 against this Grievous squad. So, I mean, Grievous has been performing well for me on defense this time, that's for sure. And then they cleared my Akbar fleet, could not clear my Negotiator in two attempts, and that was it. I uh, got a pretty good win, and now we're going into the finals, probably against a guy with like 650k lifetime banners. So stay tuned for that, guys. It's going to be lit or something. <laughs> it feels so weird using slang from a different generation. But that being said, guys, it's been fun. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I did. I even if even if I had to re revoice everything. So, guys, thank you so much for watching, and remember that in all things, Zara's prevails.